Greetings and welcome back. I'm Stan Houston. V-I-P. D-W-I. Those six letters. They are the keys to much of business success for you, the entrepreneur, in the immediate future, which starts right now, perhaps even yesterday. Here it is again. V-I-P-D-W-I. And I'm going to tell you a little bit more about that, what it means and how you need to think about how you're going to make sure you're ready. We're going to talk about exactly what we are doing right now, why podcasting will help you with your VIP and your DWI. The program starts right now. And indeed, we are back. My name is Stan Houston. This is the Jesus Entrepreneur Experience. Listen to that again. The Jesus Entrepreneur Experience. And that's one of the keys to life and business success. I guarantee it. And we're brought your way by, hopefully, you and you and your business and the Christian Entrepreneur Network. We hang out at tcenglobal.org, tcenglobal.org. And we'd be grateful if you would help us out because we would like to help you out, tcenglobal.org slash contribute now. We are a 501c3 we are nonprofit here to help and serve you as a Christian entrepreneur, make your mark in the marketplace. And uh, if you can help us as we help you, we would be grateful. Well, this is about how to, uh, according to a guy named Toby Hazelwood, which appeared in today's issue of Medium, and uh, here's what Toby said. Uh, You've likely been living under a rock. If you've yet to notice that podcasts are the new big thing for content creators the world over. Every influencer, luminary, and thought leader has one. And no matter your area of interest, you'll find a wealth of freely available, easily accessible information and entertainment that can be downloaded or streamed and listened to on demand. And remember, podcasting is personal on-demand broadcasting. Now, whether you favor the works and wisdom of the great and the good, or are searching in the niches and the dark corners for new content from the uh, as-yet-unknown, there's plenty to choose from. As a consumer, it's a rich picking ground. And for the content creator, for the business marketer, for the freelancer, for those of you who want to make your mark in the world, it seems to be generally accepted that now is the time to be launching a podcast of your own. Facebook pages for businesses and individuals looking to carve out their niche and broaden awareness seem to have had their day, or at least do little to differentiate one from the next. And the same goes for Twitter and Instagram profiles. Many still use YouTube on a near daily basis as consumers, but few who've tried would dispute that gaining a following on them is incredibly hard for those looking to break in. And podcasts, those seem to be the go-to space for those looking to create meaningful and valuable content that will meet with a receptive and engaged audience so that you can uh, build your business and make your mark in the world today. 
I'm Stan Houston, and I'm a uh, longtime business performance coach, have been for well over hmm, 25 years, and I've been helping entrepreneurs and business owners around the world uh, make their mark in the world of business, and uh, I believe I can help you. And even longer than that, I've been a broadcaster. I've loved radio since the youngest of my days, and uh International experience with Trans World Radio, Radio Netherlands, uh, trained by the BBC, and had the opportunity in many ways to teach people all over the world how to be broadcasters. And right now, as part of what we do, we are going to help you discover whether podcasting is for you and how you can build your uh, business and make your mark, and then uh, how to put that program all together. And we're going to help you do that through our What It Takes Radio and our business broadcast experience. Now, just the other day, I was talking to two people who are building a significant business. It's already made its mark in some ways, but now they're thinking, how can we expand? How can we go and grow? And they were simply interviewing me to see if perhaps as I would say, auditioning for them to see if I could be helpful and useful and practical in helping them make the decision as to whether they should invest the time, money, and energy into podcasting. And I'm sure that some of you, as you are thinking about what do I do next that isn't foolish on this April Fool's Day, what can I start to do now and different? that will help me to build my business in certainly a crowded marketplace. I also talked to a significant gentleman uh, who's a, a well-known in the chiropractic field, and he knows that he needs to demonstrate how his services are different and how they can really work and take away some of the mystery and dispel some of the myths in order to make a the great work that he does, more available and attractive to many people. So he talked to me too just last week, and that's part of the reason I was gone for a while, out helping people figure out that they as Christian entrepreneurs can make a significant difference in the world and we can help their business and they can help us together. And then how people can join the new podcasting revolution and revelation. Here's what I told uh, these uh, wonderful people. And I put this down simply on a piece of paper. V-I-P and D-W-I. That's one of the formulas for success today. Now here's what I mean. First of all, what I'm going to help you do is you are going to get a voice. Now that is, term is oftentimes used in terms of a, a writer or a speaker. They have what is almost perhaps a brand. And I don't particularly like that term. I sometimes say branding is for cows, even though I use it because it's an accepted word that people understand. It's your voice. It's what you say. It's what you speak. It's what you believe. It's what gives you your unique identity. And it's twofold. First of all, you're going to have to learn how to speak and uh, how to perform and how to use your voice in such a way. So many people think that uh, being good at this work, they just have to talk. No. Finding your voice is getting the kinds of teaching and training and uh, coaching that will help you have a voice that people will listen to, that has good resonance, that makes a difference, that actually is attractive and engaging and brings people in. It's not just about talking, it's about having the voice. And it also then, once you have the voice, what is it that you are going to talk about, speak about, bring forward, put on the world wide web? It literally is possible through a simple piece of software and a simple recording 
to be uh, available. People can find you on uh, millions and millions of places for people who are connected. iPhones, iPads, uh, computers. That's where people get their content. And then if you're on iTunes, 500 million. Uh, Spotify, 180 million. And that's just a start. Now we start putting it on YouTube and on Facebook and LinkedIn and SoundCloud and all of the other channels. And those are all platforms that will take your podcast and make them available for people all over the world. I'm fortunate. I've been at this a little bit longer than most of you, and already I perhaps have uh, 150 countries uh, that uh, listen, people who have heard me teach, heard me speak, and uh, can connect with me. A lot of the work we do actually has clientele all over the world in terms of our online education, our spokesperson presentation, and the various services that we at the Christian Entrepreneur Network can provide for people all over the world. It's amazing. Now, that's your voice. Now, that will help you gain insight. You're going to learn a lot about you, and you're going to learn a lot about others. The whole podcasting thing will give you incredible insight into yourself and your own way of speaking and teaching, and it will help you share you, the insights you have with others. And in that sharing, you'll learn even more about how people listen, how they receive. I guarantee you, if you start podcasting, just as broadcasting changed my life, you are going to gain a voice that will be heard and you will gain insight into yourself, insight into your audience, and insight that you can share with one another. P. Did you notice? Very important person. But we're playing with that. Voice, insight, and performance. In effect, today, you're going to have to be a performer. You're going to have to learn how to speak, how to act, how to communicate, to show up in ways that make a difference. It is not just your product because there are a thousand people, a million people in some cases, who have the same product and service you do, and the difference is you. You, your persona, and your performance. That's right. Your persona and your performance. So, to make it in the world, you're going to have to have a voice, you're going to have to gain insight, and you're going to have to learn how to be a performer. A performance marketer, a performance communicator, a performance coach, and a performance mentor. It's all about performance. All business is show business. So you better show up, break a leg, and perform well. And what are you going to perform about? Well, that's coming up. On the, this is the Christian Entrepreneur Network. I'm Stan Houston. This is the Jesus Entrepreneur Experience. I can help you. RadioEdge77 at gmail.com. RadioEdge77 at gmail.com. Reach out. Raise your hand. Say, Stan, I can use your help. Stan, I think I can help you. Let's see what that would bring together. DWI. Does that mean driving while under the influence? Driving while intoxicated? Well, that's what most people think. But actually, it means something very good and something you will have to do. Here we go. We're at 13 minutes, and we're going to conclude this, as we always do with a podcast, probably in under 20 minutes. Your podcast should probably be 12 to 20 minutes, and you better be full of energy and personality, and you better be good, 
because uh, that's some of the things we're going to teach you because starting this week, we will begin to create and publish an entire class of podcasts and programs to help you become a uh, business broadcaster to make your mark in the world. DWI is something that uh, I have used for many years. I think it's almost one of my trademark uh, little uh, signature slogans. And of course, uh, it's meant to uh, get people's attention because you say, hey, Stan, DWI, and I say, right, you have to have a number of DWI convictions. You have to be found guilty of being DWI. Uh, many people remember that uh, one of the questions we've been asked as people who follow Jesus, they said, hey, if uh, being a follower of Jesus or being a Christian was against the law, would there be enough evidence to convict you? Well, I would like to hope so. But here, DWI, here's what it is. Your product and your service and everything you can do can be done by somebody else, probably better, some, and probably a lot more worse, but you can uh, very easily be duplicated. And the difference will also be is that AI, artificial intelligence, may make you obsolete. We have a cure for that, but that's another show. But by the way, you'll gain that difference in podcasting. Because what I want you to do is you are going to ask yourself the question, what is the demonstrated wisdom and insight that I have? Here's my challenge. Have you been convicted? Will you be convicted of demonstrated wisdom and insight? Please let that sit on your head for a while. Would you be convicted? That person is really wise and insightful. Wow! They know things that I don't know. They have understandings and wisdom and help that, boy, I don't know. They're useful. They're practical. They're helpful. They're worthwhile. And they are worth everything they ask and more. For sure, they have demonstrated wisdom and insight. There we go, my friends. Here's why you need to be involved in podcasting. Gain a voice. Gain influence. Learn how to perform. And what do you perform? You demonstrate your wisdom and insight. As a leader, as a performer as a, a pastor, as a guide, as an entrepreneur, as a business leader, as an emerging leader, people know they have what it takes. They indeed have the voice, the insight, the performing ability, the demonstrated wisdom and insight to make a difference. I think we should hire them. We should buy them. We should follow them. I'm Stan Houston. This is the Christian Entrepreneur Network. This is the Jesus Entrepreneur Experience. And this has been about what you need to do. You need to be VIP and DWI. And there we go, under 20 minutes. We can help you, and we'd like you to help us. Remember, tcenglobal.org slash contribute now. I would be grateful. tcenglobal.org slash contribute now. Let me know how I can help you. RadioEdge77 at gmail.com. RadioEdge77 at gmail.com. 
I hope this has been helpful to you. I wish you all the best and blessings, and until next time, bye for now. Thank you.